What's up guys, Nick here, and welcome back to another Top 10 Tuesday. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Top 10 things that the Switch doesn't have. Now, the reason I uh, made this video is because the Switch is a unique console. It's both a handheld and a console, and it's very different from the, um, the previous consoles and the previous handhelds from Nintendo. And so, I decided to make a Top 10 list of mainly what is so different about the Nintendo Switch and why uh, all the things that like they changed from the previous consoles and handhelds and um, I also will uh, mention like the different applications that they got rid of and things that haven't been released yet so these might be released in the future on the Nintendo Switch but so far there hasn't been these uh, 10 items that I have so Without further ado, let's start with number 10. At number 10, we have a camera and mic. Now, the um, the little pad for the Switch does not have a, a camera, but I don't think it has a mic either. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it's on the Joy-Con or something, but I don't think there is a microphone. I might be wrong about that, but definitely there is no camera. And uh, this is kind of surprising because it's the first uh, handheld the first uh, Nintendo handheld that doesn't have a camera since the Game Boy or actually no it's from the since the DS Lite and uh, yeah so so on from the DSi and so on the uh, the handheld family of Nintendo has a camera and also a microphone and um, the same goes with uh, consoles not really though but even the Wii U had a camera mainly no one used it it wasn't really used at all but there was a camera there and they decided to take it out for the Nintendo Switch um, reasons why because um, no one really used the camera at all for the, both the 3DS and the uh, Wii U there are a couple games that used it but wasn't really that helpful but yeah the reasons at number 10 cuz no one really uses the camera and microphone same thing so yeah Anyway, on number 9. At number 9, we have two screens. Now, um, the Switch is the first console since the DS, or the Game Boy Micro, actually, that didn't have two screens, which is kind of weird, because you're kind of used to Nintendo having um, handheld as two screens, and um, seeing one screen is kind of surprising to have uh, one screen with you, but yet yeah, it's as big as... It's bigger than the 3DS, which has two screens. And so, um, yeah, the Switch only has one screen, and even though it is more like a gamepad, like the Wii U, you can't uh, access the other screen from uh, the TV mode. Anyway, number eight, we have Daily Log. Now, the uh, Switch, for some reason, took out the Daily Log. Now, this was back on the 3DS and the Wii U, and even the Wii had... Uh, daily logs where it counted how many hours you played each game now this is a minor thought but it was kinda cool to see that and uh, keep track of time of how many hours you played, especially if a game doesn't keep track of it itself because I know some games do it like Xenoblade Chronicles X and I think a couple others keep track of how much hours you played but um, now some games don't do that and the games that don't do that you can't really see how many hours you played because the Switch doesn't have a daily lock. Anyway, on number 7. At number 7, we have discs. Now, the Switch runs completely on cartridges and no discs. Now, this is very surprising because it's a console, and the last console that um, had cartridges was the N64. And um, now, the Switch is going back to cartridges for some reason. And the cartridges are very small, and the box for it is surprisingly big for that small little uh, cartridge and it the case is actually a lot bigger than the uh, 3DS case which the 3DS the cartridge I think is actually bigger than the cartridge for the Nintendo Switch but yet the cover is bigger for the Switch cartridge which makes no sense and it makes it feel a lot empty it does have some cool box art in the uh, in the inside 
like uh, as you see in the top right corner we have one two switch which shows all the games that are included which can be cool and I like to see that in the future games that are coming as a physical copy just to see the cool artwork in the uh, in the blank spaces that there are because there isn't even a game manual because it's already on the game that you can check out also I like to mention that on the discs there are uh, quite, there are it's very detailed as you can see in the top right corner uh, that's a wonderful 101 disc and it shows I think over 50 uh, wonderfuls on the disc which is really cool I like seeing that all the little details and you can see even on the cartridges like on the N64 cartridges in the top left corner they also have pretty well detail like you have Mario running after Bowser but then you have the switch cartridges and nothing basically just the title and a little bit of background I think the Bomberman it just shows the title and that's it which is kinda sad to be honest like I'd like to see a little bit more detail to the cartridge but you know I mean then again the 3DS doesn't really have any detail on the cartridge design but some of them are cool like I know like Mario Luigi Dream Team it's just all covered in Luigi's which is pretty cool but um yeah I'd like to see more detailed of uh, cartridges but other than that the Nintendo Switch is the first console since the N64 to run on cartridges which is pretty cool but you know then again the, ca the cases are weirdly shaped and take up a lot of space anyway on number six at number six we have home menu m music now the uh, switch when you boot it up it's literally silent you don't hear anything at all and it's kinda sad to hear that because you don't have like the great home menu music of like the Wii or the Wii U or even the 3DS which has like little jingles here and there and uh, even the 3DS you can actually like change the music with uh, different themes which is pretty cool which I think they might add because you can have different themes on your switch as you can see with the default white and black changing between those two so I think there might be an update where you can be able to change it uh, customize and have fun with it and maybe change the music also which would be pretty cool but uh, right now there's absolutely no music and it's really sad because just complete silence and even if they like put some uh, old music like if they put the Wii U menu music I wouldn't even be mad but there's just complete silence and it's kinda weird anyway on number five at number five we have internet browser now I think the switch is gonna have an internet browser later on but so far there hasn't been an internet browser um, people have actually been able to get into the internet browser like you can actually access YouTube by uh, going to like link on Twitter and then like go to privacy policy and you go to like Nintendo's homepage and like a bunch of weird stuff in order to get onto YouTube and it's kind of weird but apparently uh, the internet browser is pretty broken like you can actually hack it very easily like I've seen videos of it so um, I think Nintendo is basically trying to secure the internet browser right now and they'll make an update later uh, with a fixed version just so that people don't hack it like the people are right now. Anyway, on number four. At number four, we have Wii remotes and sensor bars. Now, the Switch cannot sync any Wii remotes, um, doesn't need a sensor bar, can't sync any nunchucks either, and also uh, Pro Controllers, which is kind of a bummer because um, I have a lot of them. I have four Wii remotes, I have two nunchucks, and I have a pro controller. I also have classic controllers too. And um, I can't use them anymore because the uh, Switch doesn't use them, which is kind of sad because I have a lot of them and now I can't really use them. But um, I mean, it's kind of cool though that you don't really. That syncing is a better. It's easier to do. Because with the Joy Cons, you just snap them on the, uh, the Switch that you're using and that's how you sync them. But with the Wii Remote, you have to like unclip the uh, battery cover, clip the sync button, go over to the console, press the sync button over there. And it's kind of an annoying process, but with the Switch, you just snap them on, snap them off, and it, they're synced. Which is a pretty cool concept, but other than that, your Wii Remotes and Nunchucks and Classic Controllers, and even like the Pro Controller, apparently like Nintendo said that they can add it on, but um, they're not going to, which really sucks. That you have to pay 70 bucks for a new 
Pro Controller and I heard like the battery life is worse, which is basically paying for a downgrade. But um, anyway, the Switch doesn't have Wii remotes and the sensor bar not having it, I guess is kind of a good thing because um, you get rid of one more thing. But the bad thing about it is that like some of the games, like being able to point and shoot at like what you want was pretty cool and also like pointing out like what application you wanted to do but instead you have to like move your controller and um do all that stuff and also like for metroid prime like it's such a great game to play it on the wii because you can just point out what you want to shoot at but now you can't do that maybe you could do it with gyroscope controls but it's really not the same being able to point and shoot at what you want anyway on number three at number three we have applications now the switch doesn't have any applications meaning that it has games but it doesn't have anything that's like fun or different than uh, other like consoles so uh, for example we have like AR games on the 3DS which was a great uh, way to use the AR cards and was pretty fun I liked it a lot but um, the switch doesn't have anything like that and same thing with like face raiders and flip notes and um, even like YouTube and Hulu and all that stuff, they're not on there yet. I think they are going to add like YouTube and Netflix and Hulu, all that stuff to the Switch, but right now there hasn't been anything. And same thing with Miiverse, like the Wii U and the 3DS are basically dead, and so is Miiverse. And it's kind of sad because that was kind of a cool thing to do, like it's a way for uh, Nintendo to have like a social media type of thing, but yet it's gone now. And um, it's kind of sad to see that, that they didn't bring it over to the Switch. And really the Switch doesn't really have anything that uh, you can do other than the eShop. That's like an application that comes with the console. Anyway, on number two. At number two, we have backwards compatible. Now, the Switch can only play Switch games, which really, really sucks. Because all the Wii U games and the Wii games that I have... I have to keep them on my Wii U and Wii and Wii because I can only play them on the Wii U and Wii. Actually, I can only play. I can actually just play them on the Wii U because I can play Wii games and Wii U games on the Wii U. And so it makes me ha have a reason to keep the Wii U because I can't play my Wii U or Wii games on the Switch, which really sucks. But it makes sense because it only runs on cartridges. But um, still, there's no way to like transfer them with a uh, SD card or something like that. And um, it really sucks that you can only play Switch games. And uh, those are the only games you can play. And that kind of brings me to my number one spot, which is the Homebrew Channel. Now, I know that the Switch has only been out for like two weeks. But um, people have already been able to hack it already. And um, I know that Homebrew, like probably take a year or so to have a team to like be able to hack it and uh, do all that stuff but if you don't know homebrew channel is basically a way to hack your Wii your Wii U and even your 3DS to be able to play uh, emulators and even uh, ROMs and mods all that stuff you can like play Project M you can play the custom tracks for Mario Kart Wii you can play the custom tracks for Mario Kart 7 you can uh, play any SNES game, any NES game, any GBA game, any like, uh, I think like Sega Mega Drive, any game that you can think of that's like before like the 2000s, you can basically play on the home Homebrew channel. You can even play PS1 games, you can play N64 games, but you can't really play much of those on the 3DS. I think you only play like SNES, NES, and GBA. But on the Wii and Wii U, you can play N64 games, PS1 games, and it's really a great, it's really a great um, hacking device for your Wii. And if you haven't homebrewed your Wii or Wii U, you can do it right now. And look, there's a tutorial. It's pretty easy, and it's a really great way to play a bunch of games. But yet, um, there's no homebrew on the Switch, which is basically the main reason that I don't really play the Switch that much is because there's so many games that I haven't played yet and I can play them on the homebrew channel on my Wii U or Wii or even my 3DS 
but yeah, I can't play them on my Switch, so I have to go switch between my Wii U and my Wii um, to play like all these great uh, games that I haven't played yet and just have a fun time, but yeah, I can't play them on the Switch. Also, you can even play GameCube games on the uh, Homebrew channel, which is amazing. And um, it can be pretty sucky be for the uh, Wii U because you have to use a class controller, but for the Wii, you can just use the GameCube controller and it works fine. So there's so many games that you can play on the Homebrew channel, be it that Homebrew channel is not on the uh, Switch. Also, you can also uh, download Wii Shop, Wii Channel uh, games onto your Wii for free, which is also amazing because there's a bunch of great games on the Wii Shop channel, and now you can actually play them for free on the Homebrew channel. So um, hopefully there will be a Homebrew channel for the Switch later on with the hackers. I mean, we know that you can already hack the Switch already. I've seen a gameplay of it because um, apparently the internet's very broken right now. And I think the best time to hack it is right now, so there probably are hackers already trying to homebrew the Switch. But hopefully Nintendo doesn't block homebrewing and uh, you'll be able to play it on the Switch because you can play so many games on it. And hopefully you'll be able to like hack uh, Smash Switch and also maybe play custom tracks for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Who knows? But anyway, that is the top 10 things that the Nintendo Switch doesn't have. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Top 10 Tuesdays right here on Town Nick. Bye.